hitting the gym, pushing yourself to the limit, and experiencing that telltale post-workout ache muscle soreness is a common experience for anyone who engages in physical activity. But what exactly is muscle soreness, and how does it relate to muscle growth? This guide, Muscle Soreness and Muscle Growth, dives deep into the science behind muscle soreness, explores its connection to muscle building, and equips you with strategies to manage discomfort while maximizing your fitness journey. Demystifying Muscle Soreness, Unveiling the Ache. Muscle soreness, technically known as delayed onset muscle soreness, typically sets in 12 to 24 hours after a strenuous workout, peaking within 24 to 72 hours and gradually subsiding over the next few days. This discomfort is often described as stiffness, tenderness, and a reduced range of motion in the exercised muscles. Understanding the cause. The exact mechanisms behind delayed onset muscle soreness are still being explored, but the prevailing theory revolves around microscopic tears in muscle fibers. During intense exercise, particularly when engaging in unfamiliar activities or pushing beyond your usual limits, these tiny tears occur in the muscle fibers, particularly in the contractile proteins called actin and myosin. Additionally, the surrounding connective tissue, known as fascia, can also experience microtrauma. The Inflammatory Response In response to this microtrauma, the body initiates an inflammatory response. This process involves the influx of immune cells to the damaged area. These cells work to repair the torn muscle fibers and remove debris. The inflammatory response also leads to the production of pain signaling molecules which contribute to the sensation of soreness. Beyond Microtrauma, Other Contributors to Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness While microtrauma is the primary culprit, other factors can also play a significant role in delayed onset muscle soreness. Let's explore some of them. First, metabolic stress-intense exercise leads to a buildup of lactic acid and other metabolic byproducts in the muscles. These byproducts can significantly contribute to muscle fatigue and soreness. Next up, eccentric contractions, exercises that involve lengthening a muscle under tension, like when you're lowering yourself during a squat, are particularly known to induce delayed onset muscle soreness. Another crucial factor is dehydration. Proper hydration is essential for muscle function and recovery, and dehydration can actually worsen delayed onset muscle soreness symptoms. Lastly, sleep deprivation. Sleep is vital for muscle repair and recovery. Inadequate sleep can exacerbate muscle soreness, making it even more challenging to bounce back. The Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness Muscle Growth Connection, Pain as a Sign of Progress. So, does experiencing delayed onset muscle soreness necessarily mean you're building muscle? While delayed onset muscle soreness can be an indicator that you're challenging your muscles and stimulating growth, it's not a direct guarantee. Several factors influence muscle growth. Training intensity. Generally, higher intensity workouts that push your muscles to fatigue are more likely to induce delayed onset muscle soreness and potentially lead to muscle growth. Training volume. The total amount of work done during your workout also plays a role. Increasing the number of sets, reps, or weight can stimulate muscle growth and potentially lead to delayed onset muscle soreness. Nutrition. Consuming adequate protein and calories is essential for muscle repair and growth. Proper nutrition fuels the rebuilding process. Rest and recovery. Allowing your muscles sufficient rest and recovery time is crucial for muscle growth and reducing soreness. Does the absence of delayed onset muscle soreness mean no muscle growth? The absence of delayed onset muscle soreness doesn't necessarily mean you're not building muscle. Here's why. Adaptation. With consistent training, your body adapts to the stress you're placing on it. Over time, you may experience less delayed onset muscle soreness as your muscles become accustomed to the demands of your workouts. Experienced lifters. Individuals who train regularly may experience less delayed onset muscle soreness as their bodies become more efficient at repairing muscle damage. Training type. Certain types of exercise like steady state cardio may not elicit significant delayed onset muscle soreness but can still contribute to overall fitness and muscle endurance. Managing muscle soreness. Strategies for a faster recovery. While delayed onset muscle soreness is a natural consequence of challenging workouts, 
Here are some tips to manage discomfort and expedite recovery. Cooling down and stretching. Perform a proper cool down routine after your workout, including light cardio and static stretches. This helps to improve blood flow and reduce muscle tension. Active recovery. Light activity like walking or swimming on rest days can promote blood flow and aid recovery. Foam rolling self myofascial release techniques using a foam roller can help to reduce muscle tension and improve flexibility. Massage. A professional massage can help to alleviate muscle soreness and promote relaxation. Hydration. Stay adequately hydrated before, during and after your workouts. This helps to flush out waste products and supports muscle recovery. Nutrition. Consume a balanced diet rich in protein and essential nutrients. Thank you for watching this video on muscle soreness and muscle growth.